Hey there, good looking. Deputy Brody. I uh, hope you're here to frisk me. Well, service is half our motto. Don't they prohibit you from corrupting young girls? Pretty sure you've already been corrupted. Of a thing. A billion dollars to put it up in the sky, 60 million. Right, we still come from the launch time. I know, sir. Been pushed back to oh, recovery. Well, you tell them that recovery is still ready and waiting for the sky to fall. Yes, sir. I'll be in the over time. Control that rover is ready and waiting. Control indicated. Firing. Ten. Nine. I'll just read it off the screen, Sarge. Eight. I'll just read it off the screen. Sir, we have a deviation. Okay, again? Satellite is off plane. Control is reporting the launch. Showing anything. All right, back it up and show me the past few seconds of footage. Doesn't appear to be military, sir. Could be a meteor. Spot the target's new trajectory and point of impact. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. I just don't get it. You love me. I love you. <laughs> I like you a lot, Max. Just love? I'm not even sure what that is. Brooke. We agreed. I'm just friends. If you can't handle that, then this is just gonna have to stop. I'm just trying. Yeah, I know you're trying, all right? But I also know how I feel. And until I feel differently, this is just how it has to be. Okay? So. How's it going to be? Well, I'm not giving you up. So I guess I'll stick with this then. I just, I just don't want to keep having the same conversation. Yeah, I, I get it, all right? And mum's the word. <sighs> Bam. 
You're a hard woman to love. I know. See you later, then. It is a small town. Ouch. <laughs> Be careful. Watch out for bears. Lions and tigers. Supposed to be good weather. That's good news. It's been working so hard on that merit badge. I hate having to come home and pay. Yeah, she'll do fine, rain or shine. Brooke's still out on a run? She left before sunrise. Well, that girl's gonna get hurt if she keeps running at night. She's been running in those woods forever. She knows where all those mines are. There's included. Well, about time you got up. Daylight's a wasting. I'd have been up sooner if you had a phone in this place. Bet your answer for everything. Get a phone and you'll stop hearing it. Where are you heading today? If I head to the gorge. Some good deadfall up there. Plus, the burnout will be good for the uh, seedlings. Well, if it stays clear, we'll use the mares and bring it all on home. Sounds good to me. See you all later. Go the fuel tanks. Get the team wheels up. I want best speed for Preacher's Mill. Form Usenet. We'll survey the wreckage and extract whatever's left. And tell the local fire crews to hang back until we get there. The last thing we need is for some short order cook to get a face full of hydrazine. Hey, Dad. Hey, morning, Brooke. How was your run? You about ready to go? Stuff is going crazy with the weight. Yeah, I'll be just a sec. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. How was the run? Good. Uh, your dad and Steph are waiting on you. Yeah, I know. Dad already told me. You almost, Jetty? Almost. Are you ready to kick some forest little butt? It's just a camp out. <laughs> yeah, well, hope you're rested up. Mrs. Brewer tells me that your campsite is almost two miles from the parking lot. Two miles through the spooky woods. <laughs> Morning, Green. 
Green. Good morning, Stu. How can we help you today? Uh, a little bit of weighing, a little bit of trade. You know cell service is down? It's probably something you did. How do we give you that badge again? I want it off the sheriff in a poker game. <sighs> did you hear something earlier? I heard this big boom. It sounded like the a... sound of a satellite hitting the side of South Mountain? You shit me. <laughs> the army says that there is or will be a hell of a fire and that we should steer clear, although what they actually say is we should steer clear. That's where the message cuts off. Probably means that the uh, communications equipment's nice and toasty right about now, hence the lack of cell phone service. Wonderful. Uh, according to this, the satellite still has over half its fuel left, hydrazine. Hand me that book over there, would you? <clears throat> Thanks. You really think Miller can handle this kind of hazmat shit? I don't know about handling it, but they definitely need to get up there and check out that fire. They got all sorts of equipment, and they don't use half of it. That reminds me, I gotta take the chief's car to get an oil change. Look you for the duty. <laughs> Sorry, Davidson. Only full-time deputies get to play games of chance. Enjoy your drive, though. Well, oh, and hey, while you're at it, stop out at Silver Springs, too, and warn them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell the hippies not to inhale any of the smoke. Just tell them to come down here if the fire heads their way. I'm gonna go ahead and take my lunch break out at Silver Creek. Hey, there's no lunch, Davison. We got a fire on our hands. We're policemen, Max. We handle crimes. Firemen handle fires. Fine. Be back here in an hour and a half or so, regardless. You have my word as a physician and a part-time deputy. Hey, watch those bootlegger turns. Chief says you keep it up, those tires will be coming out of your pay. <laughs> what is the point of being a lawman if you can't break the law? Chrissy, I mean, seriously, Mom and Dad haven't even been gone for five minutes, and you're already... Hey. You got everything? Okay, then. You two crazy girls have a fun time on your trip. I'll bring her back on Sunday. That'd be great, but no need to rush. I'm going over to Chad's for the weekend. Gotcha. Sunday afternoon it is. Steph, sweetie, I don't want you eating a bunch, okay? reason to be scared, sweetie, okay? You got your whole troop here. I'm not scared. It's going to be fun. Great. And I'll meet you right back here on Sunday, okay? And we'll go for some ice cream. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not ice cream.
found. Tell you what, Cap, if this is another false alarm, I'm gonna hit somebody with my fucking hell. Okay, I'm back. Good job to do. Holy shit. Wow. We're gonna be able to call the park service for this? Hours out. What the hell is this? It's all fucking shitty. sweets and threw up. We weren't in the camping mood after that. I told you not to eat all that stuff. Do you mind if I drop her here with you? No, that's okay. Come on, Piglet. Let's get you a place to sit. What was that about the fire? Oh, uh. Up on South Mountain, some wildfire or something. Best to ask your boyfriend. I just play here. Yeah, where's that ball? Okay. Both balls. Both. Deputy? Ma'am? So you have any plans for dinner? Well, I'm supposed to have dinner with this guy, I know. Cool. He's in law enforcement. Well, if it's the chief, I think I got some ass kicking to do. <laughs> and if it is, I think you have a daddy complex, little girl. Oh. <laughs> What's up with the fire? Steph's out camping, you know? Yeah, they're... All the forestals are out at Silver Lake. You know that. The fire's nowhere near there. So... I got Miller and his team checking it out right now. They're digging some fire breaks, and other than that, we're just supposed to wait till the feds show up. Feds? Oh, yeah. The fire was actually started by the satellite that they were trying to shoot down or something, and it fell out of orbit and crash landed in beautiful scenic Preacher's Mill. What are the odds, right? Yeah, really. So we're supposed to send out some hazmat team or something, and. Until then, we're just supposed to steer clear. Wow. Yeah, well, first the iron ore runs out, and now shit's falling from the sky. You'll keep an eye on it, right? In case the fire shifts. Hey, your sister and her whole coven of forest foes are going to be fine. As long as I run this town. So they're solid until Tuesday, because that's when the chief gets back. Well, um... I'll see you tonight, then. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, guys, uh, listen up. The feds are going to be here shortly, probably tomorrow morning, so we don't need any heroes. Go ahead and dig your brakes and then uh, back off, okay? Yeah. Okay. Has anybody actually been up at the tower yet? We just came from the tower. Whole fucking thing's burning up there. I don't know how you guys deal with this shit. Keeps the hell out of giving out enemas. Jeez, Edward, they told you to take a break. Just one in every bunch. You gonna be okay? 
I don't know. Looks like he's got heat stroke. Okay, you almost ready? I'm gonna ride back. What, right, all the way? It's uphill, you know. I know. We're two weeks out. Stuff all right? I think so. Just got your love for the woods. <laughs> Did you hear about that fire? Yeah. Uh, the winds are blowing to westward. Shouldn't be a problem for you if you stay in the East Loop. Okay. Will do. You home for dinner? Oh. Max is cooking. What are you leading that boy on? See you tomorrow. Love you. Need a push? Ha ha. <laughs> Shit. See if I can find a flashlight somewhere or something sexy. There's one in the kitchen closet, I think. Just stay where you are. Don't want him coming in here. <laughs> She's had a scary dream. Uh -uh. Hey, motherfucker! Anybody out there? Best be leaving, or I'll call the cops. It's quiet out here. <laughs> Too quiet. Yo, bitches, come get some. Fuck your work.
Holy shit. In here. So, uh, how are things going on this end? I got good news and I got bad news. How much have you had to drink today? That's probably the bad news. Don't give me the good news then. I got your cause of death. Mm -hmm. All right, torso severed in mid-thorax, uh, eviscerated and no major organs remaining. Massive tissue loss across the entire musculature of the body, maybe 70%. And most of the head, the right hand, the right leg, portions of the uh, sternum and ribs, uh, fragments of the pelvis still intact, all of it largely denuded of tissue. Post-mortem lacerations, Abrasions indicate all the typical hallmarks of non-frenzied feeding. So it was a bear attack then? This was no bear. Bite marks. Well, duh. Human bite marks. What? Human. Somebody ate him. Struck him down and ate him up. So, a, a person did this? Yep. My God. Do you think it was Kim? Kids these days. I'm gonna... go... We need to talk about last night. Sure. What was it, a bear attack? What makes you think it was a bear? Well, what do you mean? What else would it be? That's where we need your help. Sure. Okay, Kim. Now, this is a gelatin mold. Uh, I just want you to, it's gonna be a little warm. I just want you to go ahead and put it in your mouth and uh, you're just gonna, gonna bite down evenly. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Well, it's all standard procedure um, in a case like this. For a bear attack? Well, I, I know it seems a little strange, but. <laughs> Whoa. You, th you think I ate him? Now, Kim, please, oh we're just trying to... What the fuck are you saying? I think I'm gonna get sick. What's that? A, a bucket for, for my vomit? For my vomit, right? To check my vomit. Because you think I ate him? Fine. 
fine. I'll take your test. Just get it over with. Okay, Kim. Just uh, go ahead and put it in your mouth. Bite down evenly. All right. That's it. That's it? You're not gonna arrest me? Well, we do have to hold you here until we get the results back. I want you to tell me now. You think I ate him? I want you to know now. I don't think it's a match. Jesus Christ! I'm really sorry about all this, but we had to. Is there to anything be... else? No. Good. Then get me fuck off! Come on, Chrissy, let's go. You know, Hardy boys, if it wasn't a bear attack and it wasn't me, then what was it? Yep. God damn it. Okay. That's the other bad news. What's that? There were multiple bite patterns on the kid's body, all right? There's more than one killer, or more accurately, more than one eater. You gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> it's one other thing. His hypothalamus was extremely enlarged. So, it's still growing, almost exponentially. Even though he's dead? Even though he's dead. Look, you're the doc here, but isn't that a bit unusual? Okay, look, the, there are parts of the body that continue to grow after death, but the hypothalamus is usually not one of them. All right, so I've done a little digging and uh, I found something interesting going on, right? Don't you need permission for that? Okay, you know the drill. We move out in 20 towards the impact crater. If you see any of the locals, get a check on conditions and check back with me. Get any spikes in your meters? And you pull back double quick. Other than that, it's bag it, tag it, and we can go home. Damn, it's hot out. It's gonna be like hell today. Oh, pull this out of Chad's head? I've never seen anything like that. All right, it, its structure is, frankly, alien. Alien like form? No, alien like as in alien. Is it not from around here, as in Earth? What? Okay, um... There are hypotheses about the possibility of germs from space landing on a planet, okay? Galactic panspermia, for example. And nobody really pays much attention to them. They've the largely been discredited. But technically, hypothetically, it is conceivable that a non-terrestrial microorganism could, in fact, survive re-entry, land on a planet's surface where it could... Fine, Chad. What are the odds of that? About the same as that of a satellite hitting South Mountain, I would say. Do you think the satellite brought this in with it? Ask the military, man. It's their satellite. I mean, okay, look. In Chad's case, the cells are hyper-replicating, all right? His hypothalamus is growing and putting a tremendous amount of pressure on the rest of his brain. What effect would that have? It's hard to say. I mean, I'm... I'm out of my depth here, man. I mean, uh, the hypothalamus governs body temperature, thirst, hunger, aggression, all kinds of stuff. Look, un until the hazmat guys get here, the best thing I can say is maybe we just keep our eyes peeled for anybody with symptoms and hope that it's not readily transmittable. 
What about the people who ate him? Do you think they're infected? Your guess is as good as mine when it comes to alien bacteria, man. Reaches Mill Police. Hey, man, this is Mike. I'm out at Silver Lake and uh, kind of got a problem. Oh, yeah, what's that? <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, but there's a pack of fucking wild dogs out here. Something works in this car.
<laughs> he killed him right here with his finger. <laughs> and he tried to eat him. What? <laughs> he tried to eat him. Get out of there, baby. Slow down. Slow down, baby. No, dude. I know what I saw. And he tried to eat him. Okay, baby. <laughs> I said step away from the car, now! Stop for a shoot!
It's gonna be okay, ma'am. I'm gonna take you to the dock and it's gonna be... Ma'am, are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? I'm gonna take you to the dock and he's gonna... Ma'am, hey. are you okay? Oh. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Hey, hey, are you okay? dear.
robbery on the way. No, there's people, but they've uh, gone crazy or something. They've definitely done that or something. Where are the rest of your people? Don't know. This isn't gonna work if you don't help. You want help? My team's vehicles are up on the road by the Silver Springs Resort. Satellite phone is inside. Dial Alpha Alpha 3, Delta wait, 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 Bravo. Wait, wait. Alpha Alpha Delta. Alpha Alpha 3. Alpha Alpha. Oh, fuck it. It's just pain. Let's go. Uh, uh, Steph? Are you okay? Are you hurt? Come on out of there, sweetheart. Come on. Okay. Oh, come here. I got you. I got you. Steph, what are you doing out here? Yeah, 
the truck. Steph, I'll be right back, okay? Just lock the doors and don't open them for anybody except for me. And you know what? Even if it is me, only open it if I knock three times, okay? How many times am I gonna knock, Steph? Three. Me, gotta go. Get them dogs. Man, I am really hungry. You got thing to eat. Davidson, what happened? Oh, alien fired one. Three zero. I, uh, I got some people looked up in the, uh, in the cage there, uh, shot some others out here. Uh, I got whatever it is, <laughs> this, this is the worst case of pollen outbreak in history. Oh, I, uh, I let the girls go, see the thing to do under the circumstances.
down baby put the window down put the window down i can't daddy i can't okay try the key the ignition and try it again honey give it a turn give it a turn that's it dad a girl dad a girl turn the key use the one in the ignition that's right right there turn don't worry about him don't worry about him don't look at him don't don't look at him sweetheart come on baby i got you i got you i got you
What are the odds of that? About the same as that of a satellite hitting South Mountain, I would say. I knew you were alive. Are you okay? Yeah. I don't know how much it means to me to be safe. I have to be with you. <gasps> Why won't you let me back there? I got whatever this is. And... I don't, I don't know how long I can control myself before. You know. Father's alive. Steph is too. They left here a little while ago. Headed toward Ashland. As far as I can tell, anyway. I love you, Buck. You're, you're my everything. You're my, my, my stars, my moon, the whole world. Max. I'm gonna always love you, even after I'm gone. I just hope that you can take this ring as a token of my love. Damn it. You know, it's been kind of one of those days, huh? Well, it'll, it'll be back here for you. Well, I'm gone. <laughs> I 
I tell you to run for help, but I don't think the odds are in your favor at this point. The entire valley is in quarantine. Told me I just had to stay put. And of course you didn't. I was looking for you. I came out here looking for you. For a challenge, uh, grab one of those guns up front. Maybe we can get these people to listen to reason. 